Do you wanna learn how to color grade your footage and make it look more cinematic within LumaFusion? Well, that's what we're gonna cover in this video, so stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into LumaFusion or video editing, because we've got a ton of tutorials on this channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I personally color correct my footage, get it looking the way I want it to, and then how we apply other features like LUTs to get the footage looking much more cinematic. So let's jump into LumaFusion and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we've jumped into LumaFusion here and we've chosen a couple of shots from a couple of recent shoots that Lewis has done. And first shot here is taken from the Panasonic GH5. And as you can see, it's quite a flat look that we've gone for. Uh, we've dialed in some settings to get this as flat as possible. And this is using the, the Cine D profile on the Panasonic GH5. For the second shot, we've got a shot taken from our Sony a6400. As you can see, there's a bit more color out of the box for this one, but I'll show you how we would go through and color correct these two shots. So let's first of all start with this shot here. Now to get to your color settings in LumaFusion, if you've got the new Editor's Keys LumaFusion keyboard cover, you can simply press the number five key and that will load up your color and effects and then you'll be brought straight to here. If you're doing it manually and you don't have a keyboard cover, let me show you how that works. All you need to do is double tap the clip and then you'll be brought to your frame and fit and then all you need to do is go along here and tap the color and effects button. So obviously it's faster to use your keyboard shortcuts but you can of course get here using your finger or your Apple Pencil too. Now when we're in here, what we wanna do, there's a, a few things you can use straight off the bat. You can see that this color profile is very, very flat as we mentioned and there's a couple here in the LumaFusion presets which are really good. And I do like it that LumaFusion have included all of these presets here. So the first one is the contrast. And you can see already the difference that has made to the shot there. It's really brought up the, the contrast levels there. The second one is vibrance. And you can see there, if we turn that on and off, just how much of a difference that makes as well. And the great thing about these LumaFusion presets is that you can actually go in and adjust these. So let's just say you thought this was a little bit too dark still, you can go in, go in here and adjust the brightness, the, the contrast to your own likings. So they are very good places to start, but we're gonna essentially do this from scratch. And I'll show you how I would personally adjust these two shots and then how we make it a lot more cinematic. So let's go back, let's delete this and reset these. So uh, we've got this shot here. What I tend to do is I go to original first, so it pulls up all of your adjustment settings. Now at the top here, you've got your levels. And if you go for the center ones, these are just your mid tones. And you wanna essentially play around with these because we don't have any vector scopes within LumaFusion. You wanna play around with these. So you start getting the shots looking good to the eye. So I wanna bring up the sort of brightness levels, a little bit of the mid tones. So we're gonna bring that to about there. Let's just pull this down here so we get rid of some of that gray. You can adjust the black levels, of course. The uh, the white levels there. I'm gonna take it to about there. I'm gonna bring up brightness very slightly. Contrast. I'm not gonna bring up too much contrast because we are gonna be adding a lot in post. I'm gonna take it to about there. Saturation levels, I'm gonna pull up very, very slightly. And what we're trying to do here, we're not really trying to give it the full color grade at this point. We're just trying to even out the footage so it looks looks nice straight out of camera after your adjustment. So you can see here already, if we go from the original, it looks very dark, very gray, and already these just minor adjustments, although this isn't perfect, it starts bringing out some of that color. You get some of the highlights. There's maybe too much of highlights here, so I would maybe bring down the, oh, I've just reset that. Let's just bring the mid-tones up a little bit there. There we go to about that point. I think that looks just about right. Now, what you can do to really get this looking more cinematic is bring in a LUT. Now, we've got the Editor's Keys LUTs that we mentioned, and you can check those out in the description below. And what we're gonna do here is we are gonna put on the Editor's Keys Nostalgia LUT. And it's simply a one button tap, and you can see it's pretty strong here. It looks okay, but we would recommend taking this down a little bit, maybe to about 40. As you can see, that's all you need to do, just blend it. And if we take off the, the light, you can see how much of a difference this makes. So you essentially go in, 
grade your footage, get it looking nice and even, and then you apply a cinematic like this one, and then you have some really nice footage. So let's just play that through with and without. So first of all, let's turn these off. As you can see, that is pretty gray, it's pretty dull. You wouldn't wanna upload that to YouTube like this. Now, if we turn them both on, you can see you've got some nice cinematic footage that looks really, really great. Just a quick note about these LUTs. Because we created these in Adobe Premiere Pro, they're actually gonna pull in more dynamic range from your footage. Because even though the LumaFusion effects are very, very good, they're not quite to the level yet of Adobe Premiere Pro. So we've created these LUTs so you can really use more of the dynamic range from your footage. So this is especially good if you're using any S-Log, if you're using the CineD profiles or any profiles like HLG ones like that, this is gonna help retain that color information and really bring it out in your LumaFusion projects. So let's try this on the next shot. But before we do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this preset here. Let's say I'm working on a full feature and I wanna save this look out. You can do this in LumaFusion. So I'm gonna click this star icon here and then I'm gonna call this EK Grade. And you'll see why this is good later on. And then just simply tick the little star icon here. Okay, and uh, to get back to these, you go to the little star icon here and they are in this top corner. So there I've showed you how you can make your own preset. And that's good if you're working on a very, very big project and you can do that by hitting that star. But let's just say you wanna actually copy the attributes. You can come down to this little section here, just tap the clipboard and then you get the option to copy maybe your color and effects presets you've just created or even speed, you know, you can copy the attributes from speed, the frame and fit, anything you want. You can do that by adjusting one clip, hitting that copy and then paste. And you can just paste single elements of that as well. So it's a really, really handy feature to have here. Always keep a lookout for that because it can save you a ton of time when it comes to color correcting. Now let's go to the second shot here. And this was shot on the Sony a6400. So again, just make sure your clip is selected and then tap the five button on your keyboard cover. And again, this shot looks actually overall pretty good. You know, the colors captured here straight out of camera aren't as flat as they were with the Panasonic GH5. So if we go to original here, what I'm gonna do again is just play around with this and just try and even up the image. You can see some of the skin tones are a little bit more red here. So we wanna just adjust these. I'm going to go through and adjust the levels here. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit. That takes some of the red out of the skin tones there. I'm going to bring down the mid-tones here. It just makes the shot look a lot more even. Let's take out some of this gray here towards the black levels. Let's just adjust this down, see how that looks. I actually like it at the top here. White levels look good. Brightness, I'm just gonna take this up a little bit and then I'm gonna adjust the midtones again. Okay, I think that looks good, contrast. I'm gonna pull this up very, very slightly, just to add a little bit more contrast than what we had set out of camera. Maybe a little bit too much there. Saturation, I think actually looks good for this image. And again, you can go through and adjust the vibrancy. If, if you do find that you have more of a sort of reddish tone, this isn't too bad now, but let's just say it was coming out of camera like this and, and too red. You can of course go to here and just pull the red tone down. So if you've got any red tones in the skin, for example, you can pull this down towards the sort of bluer colors and that would kind of make the skin tones look much more natural. And I think that looks just about right. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna go into the user LUTs and I'm gonna apply the editor's keys forest LUT here. And look at that straight by pressing that, it looks really, really great. Again, I'm gonna bring it down I think for this LUT, it looks great at about between sort of 30 and 40. Now I'm gonna take it to about 40 there. Now let's just turn these both off so you can see how it looked before. There we go. It didn't look too bad, did it, when we first looked at that clip, but now you see it with the color grading turned completely off. It looks very dull, it looks very flat. It, it doesn't look too exciting. You turn on the, the color corrections and then the LUT, and all of a sudden you've got a really nice cinematic shot and what a difference that makes to your footage. Now, as we mentioned before, you can create your own presets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these presets off here, and I'm actually gonna add the grade that we did to the first shot. 
there we go. So what that's going to do is that's going to bring in the original color correction we did to the first shot. And of course, I would recommend that you adjust each shot separately. And then it's going to add the first LUT on. So if you now go back through the footage, we will have two shots here. Let's just add that onto this shot here, the EK grade. Now we have two shots with roughly the same color grade. You want to match up you know, your settings a bit more, but as you can see, you've got two nice cinematic looking shots straight out of LumaFusion. So there you go, that's how I color grade my footage within LumaFusion. And I love LumaFusion because it really is very, very close to a desktop editing program like Final Cut or Premiere Pro. There's lots of features in there, there's lots of uh, ways you can adjust your footage, and as we've shown, you can add cinematic LUTs. And remember, if you want to check out those LUTs, uh, check out the link in the description below. And if you've got any questions for me or the Edits Keys team, let me know in the comment section below, as I promise we do get back to every single comment asked. So thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about LumaFusion check out our playlists here and I'll see you in the next video.